Hello YouTube, it's Ringmaster Mike Groff again, and as you can obviously see behind me, I am a wrestling figure collector. Let's uh, move that up. Yeah, yes, right there. You can see a lot of my wrestling figure collection, some of my belts, and uh... <laughs> My wall of uh, wrestling collectibles. Yes, this is my apartment. Yeah, this is my apartment. I'm gonna decorate it how I want to. So, don't like it? Don't subscribe. But hey, getting to the point here. Uh, I'm gonna talk about uh, this uh, ser basic series 120. Chase variant Scarlet Bordeaux figure, and some of the things that I kind of like what Mattel did with it, because the problem with the uh, basic wave that Mattel has done is where they completely got rid of a lot of the articulation and changed the articulation. Mainly, they got rid of the ankle articulation, so made it making it the ankle articulation, the upper thigh swivel, the diaphragm joint, the upper calf rotation. Basically making the basic figures few articulation points away from being a statue and hard to pose, hard to animate with for a lot of people such as My Damn Toys and a lot of other people in the action figure stop motion slash pick fed community and which yeah i did give a shout out to my damn toys because hey he's pretty damn good at doing a a pick fed and i liked a lot like a lot of his pick feds pick fed videos mdt live and vindication and yeah, he and he also brought up concerns about the the uh, Mattel basic line about how they kind of rendered them completely useless because hey, before they took away a lot of articulation, like like the a lot of the the people in the custom community used to just swap arms, swap head, do uh, part swaps, and make some pretty cool elite customs from the basic figures. And I'm very much going to go over the this uh, Scarlet figure and show you some things that Mattel should do with the basic line going forward. And here's this, like... And what I'm going to say is, like, they use some of the old basic articulation. So you can see, focus, they did use the upper thigh swivel, brought back ankle articulation, which, yeah, that is great. That's a good step. Like, those should be brought back. And also the same thing with the arms. Like, it still doesn't have... It still has the current arms that they brought in, where they remove the upper cat, upper bicep uh, rotation, and replaced it with an elbow swivel. And it still moves forward, but not. It still moves up, but not great. Like they should go back to the old arms. Maybe they could keep the. Uh, current hands because hey it's a basic they don't really need a hinge in that and they don't really need the diaphragm joint so at least leave that point of articulation for the women in the elite line but here's the thing like they should go back to the old leg articulation because hey it's easier to pose for people who do figure photography and pick fed animation and <clears throat> and yeah along with the this along with the old leg articulation 
easier for the figure to stand on your shelf and it doesn't fall over. That is a huge problem with a lot of the newer Mattel basics where the figures will fall over. And this is, and yeah, and yeah, like, give you a little up close of the detail. That's her face if my fucking camera can focus. But yeah, my camera doesn't do it justice, but hey, the face on this uh, figure and the uh, other basic figure, the regular run look a hell of a lot better than uh, Scarlet's Elite 92 figure. Like, <laughs> and I kind of get with a lot of people's complaints on that because that figure makes Scarlet look like an old woman. And like, yeah, I, I pretty much, if I get that figure, I will buy the the uh, other basic Scarlet figure and head swap. Because, like, yeah, her elite figure did not do her any justice. And, yeah, like, this is kind of uh, me uh, nitpicking on Mattel action figures. Because I feel like, as a collector, I'm kind of, like, wanting to voice my concerns and give... Uh, give uh some stuff to make figures better maybe also maybe make uh work on head scans like whoop, that new uh that that elite elite 92 sh scarlet and uh, yeah the face scan's not that good like yeah there's gonna be a lot of people head swapping doing head swaps with the uh, the basic yeah, like, not saying that that the Mattel WWE figures are bad, but they do need to work on some of the quality. And yes, I am a collector, so yeah, I do want to have, like, the best product possible. And the, the same thing goes with the AEW Unrivaled collection. Like, some of their, their figures have kind of questionable questionable uh, head scans and uh, and uh, articulation points that kind of move very stiff and makes you think the uh, figure is gonna break and also loose parts on them but uh, yeah like the uh, AEW figures are pretty good but there's some things they can work on to make them better just like how the Mattel figures can be better. Like, I'm not complain. I'm not hating on these figures. I'm not complaining. I'm just bringing up some stuff that can make these figures better because I and a lot of other adult collectors are out there and parents who buy these for their kids we're the consumers like we'd probably be able to buy more of your product if you improved it and like the same thing goes with the basic line like you want to sell more figures in the basic line give the give some of the articulation back like improve on head scans but here's the thing like most of the modern figures still way better than the action figures we had when I was growing up. Like, remember the Titan Tron Live series from back in the day? Oof. That was way before they were able to do 3D head scan technology. And yes, I know. Like, I bought the Scarlet figure way after her and Cross both got released, but... Hey, as a figure collector, I'm a completionist. And, like, you can't have Karrion Cross in your collection without Scarlet Bordeaux. Because, hey, they are pretty much a, 
A, but because like it takes both of these two to complete their gimmick. And yeah, I'm just glad that I just have both of them in my collection finally. And that brings us to the end of this video. Till my next one, peace the fuck out.